YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Mark Lobliner makes a huge mistake. Let's get right into it. So as you can see here, this is a now deleted tweet. Shout out to all my stuff I got down here. <laughs> this is, you see how I make all my videos. But nonetheless, we got Mark Lobliner who wanted to say, it appears the issue has entered women's bodybuilding. Note, the female in purple one. Thoughts on this. So he's talking about a man entering into a female's bodybuilding. Now, what's the problem? Is he right? I mean, I would agree. A male being in a female's bodybuilding would be an issue. The only problem is that was not a, uh, a male at all, actually. And it may seem that this young man was not paying attention. Well, he's not a young man anymore. But he decided to go off and say, you know, um, here's what's so frustrating, man, to be honest with you guys. See, when we when we decide that we're going to, you know, make all these decisions and say these things about people, I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with standing up for all of that stuff. Sorry, guys, let me make a readjustment here. You can't see anything. I don't know what this is. Why is showing all of this? Hello. So let me go ahead and fix some of this. There we go. For some reason, I got to fix that too. But anyway, let me just show you this. I got my screen up anyway. So this is the individual that he was saying was uh, a woman, a man, because he had a video up like this. So, and I'll give it to you. Does this look like a man up there? If you didn't know, well, of course it does. If you didn't know, but here's the problem. If you didn't know, but I went through searching. We all went and looked into this and guess what? This person is this same person, a female. Same individual, a female, a female. Now, if you go all the way through their Instagram, you can see them transition into bodybuilding all the way through. This is where she starts working out for the first time to try to become a bodybuilder. This is the same individual getting ready to work out. Okay, and then here we go. You keep going. Oh, doing it again. Oh, now this is the same person starting to look more manly, masculine, right? Here's the same person getting ready to bodybuild. Same individual. They, here they are, even showing their transformation. Continue on. You can see them getting even to more shape. Same person. And you continue on. And you continue on. You can see the updates. Same individual. Until you get all the way up here. Where you can see th what this person looks like now. It looks like a guy. Okay. Obviously this person has taken tests. Obviously this person has been on stuff. But the problem is. The problem that we have here. Is that Mark, you cannot just go calling out people and not do your due diligence. That's what's so frustrating. And that's what makes me so upset when these other people, they just get on these channels, right? I understand. I make quite a few videos, okay? I have made quite a few videos. If you go back to even my old YouTube channels, when I used to make videos, even if I made one in, a, in, a, a video on one individual, the vast majority of the time, I researched them before I made the video, and I would spend seven to six, six to seven hours making the video, editing the video and doing all that stuff to make sure before I made this video on this person, I knew them. Y'all are going to see me a video after this one where I took two to three hours to watch every video leading up to this video to another person's video because they got told they were something that they weren't. Listen, I understand going against trans people, and I understand that we want to fight for women's rights. I'm all for that. Obviously, y'all see that when I make stuff. However, I never try to go out of my way to just look at a thing and then make a whole video out of it and just say, oh, well, this is what I'm going to do. Or at least I try my best not to do that. Now, normally, sometimes when I, I make a video, if I can't find the person, then I will go off what I have and just give my opinion. But most of the time, I try to look for the people. And one of the things I hate is some people who share this stuff on Twitter right? They'll share stuff like this on Twitter and not even tell you the person's name. Not, they'll have a whole TikTok and they'll blur it out. I understand they're like, oh, you don't want to go after this person, but if you're going to make something derogatory about somebody, call somebody a man who is clearly a female just because she looks like a man now because she's been taking some things to enhance herself. 
Or you got somebody else um, who they would say, oh, this is a fetish. This person's weird. And you don't even let us know what their name is so we can look into ourselves. I don't think that's doing a very good job. That's not doing a very good job. And that's the problem I have. That's why I don't ever call myself, you know, oh, I'm on this side or I'm on that side. I try to be objective in my opinion the best I can. Now, am I biased in some ways? Of course I am. I, ha I, ha I just am. You know, I grew up a certain way. But at the same time, I don't try to just bash people because I don't like what they're standing on. This person has done nothing wrong but bodybuild. And I want to tell you what this individual actually had to say about this whole situation. Because she did hear it. And here it is. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Let's put this to bed, shall we? I didn't want to have to do this. This is based off of everybody who is making all the jokes on her on Twitter. And I shouldn't have to be honest. But quite frankly, I'm sick of all the bullshit going around the world about me. So here it is. This is me in 2019 before I started lifting. We went back to pictures in 2016, as y'all saw. All of you keyboard warriors out there need to get a life instead of trying to destroy mine. You can begin to comprehend the sacrifice and dedication it take me to gain my physique. If I had long hair, I bet it would be different. Take a look at all the pro women bodybuilders, and if you remove their long hair, they are no different to me. I have a right to be up there, and quite frankly, no amount of slander will stop me from chasing my dreams. Now give it a rest. No labels, hashtag, you know, all the other stuff. You had all these people come to this, this woman's channel. And y'all all, some of y'all do this, man. Y'all say something on Twitter. Y'all say something on Instagram and then have somebody go get bombarded with comments because you gave no context. You've got to understand the people who are on Twitter and the people who are on internet who don't make contact like you and I, like who actually have to get up on camera and show our face and really speak about something. Those kind of people who make those kind of comments, they're not going to do no research. They're not going to do anything. They're going to react. They're going to get on there. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe a, a woman is compete. I mean, a man's competing in a woman's bodybuilding. This is awful. This is person is terrible. I hate them. Die. Because I don't want to. I want to say this nicely, but these people aren't researching and they are just not trying their best to understand the situation. To put it like these individuals just want to get on Twitter to have a good laugh. Maybe to make their life a little bit better. Maybe their lives are awful. And they're trying to make the best of it by laughing at somebody else. And I absolutely get that. I absolutely get how some people want to just get on there and take a little bit of weight off their own shoulders. But at the same time, you can't do it at the expense of someone else. This is somebody else's life. And that's what makes me so sick. I always say this. I understand your life is important to you. My life is important to me. I'm the main character of my story. You're the main character of your story. But you cannot go around treating people as if this is going to be a video game reference. But you can't treat people like they're NPCs, which means a non-playable character. You don't go around treating people like they don't matter. Y'all said something against this woman and she had nothing to do with any of this. She was simply competing. Now, because she does drugs and all that doesn't give you the right to call her a man. And to say that, oh, and not only that, they said that she lost and she did lose. But she, they, they said, oh, and she lost to a female. She's a female too, doofus. So what do you mean she lost to a female? She lost to her own gender. Because she was more aesthetically pleasing to the judges. That happens. Y'all have got, got to do better. Mark, you, and listen, I don't think Mark's a bad guy. Okay, I've seen his stuff before. He hasn't really come off to me as a guy. He made a mistake. It was, it was, a, it was a bonehead mistake. It happens to all of us. But my point is, and this is just a lesson to all of us, do a, just a little bit of research before you go saying a whole lot of stuff. I know I've done this in the past where I have just reacted to what I first saw on a Twitter feed, a Twitter thread. And I just look at it and I just get off of it. And I try my best now when I'm not on this camera. As soon as I get off this camera and I'm looking up something, I immediately go to a person's TikTok, Instagram, anything I can find on them. And then I go from there. And if I can't find anything on them, then I will give y'all guys my opinion based on what I just saw. And that's it. Based on just what I saw. Not the person. Based on what I saw. But this person, come on, man. Mark, you're in bodybuilding. You know about bodybuilding. You couldn't take five seconds to go look her up? Because the, the, the people who were defending this woman, it didn't take them long to find out who she was. Because all you do is look up the competition. Look up the names. Shoot, man. Anyway, let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think this was wrong for Mark? I think he made a bonehead mistake, but let it be a lesson to all of us. Just do a little bit of research before you go calling people something they're not. Goodbye.
Goodbye. <laughs> I have to swallow right when I said that. I'm out.